What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I've been focusing on the New York Rangers re-signing Chris Kreider to a four-year extension worth $18.5 million for an average annual value around $4.5 million. Um, I don't hate this deal for the Rangers. I, I thought for sure Kreider was really going to price himself out of New York. But they gave him a nice extension. I mean, I think, you know, he, he, we're at the point now where he is what he is. At the risk of sounding overly cliche, I mean, you know, I think anyone holding that breath for Kreider to be a 40-goal scorer, you know, is, is off the rocker. But, you know, 21, 21 goals, 43 points, gives you some speed, gives you some size. Has been a really integral part of that team. Fits the Lane Vino system well. You know, much like, you know, in the last couple of years, he... Uh, we saw JT Miller escape his doghouse. Same thing kind of happened with Kreider in the last two or three years. So that's definitely a uh, a good thing for the the blue shirts. And you know, again, I, I don't have an issue with the money or the term. I think it's he's a good young player. I mean, uh, he's 25. Um, I, again, I think we, we he's kind of stagnated. I mean, well, could he have a 30 goal season here or there? Yeah, absolutely. But I mean, I think the 20 to 25 goals and the speed and the um, you know. Just a little intangibles he brings. I think that's that's the value he's given the Rangers, and for 4.5 million dollars on a cap on, on a team that's you know on the verge of salary cap hell, this is a good deal for both sides. I like it. He gets to stay in New York. He's happy in New York. The Rangers get to keep him. And you know hypothetically, if he does throw in a 30 goal season here or there, it's like oh, you know we're we're getting him for a really good value. So end of the day. Good deal for both sides. They both got what they wanted. They, avoid arbitra they avoided arbitration, and uh, they got them signed to a, a four-year deal that you know you never know could end up being below market value. So we'll see how it all shakes itself up. But anyway, that's all I got. This episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the off season and beyond. Later, guys.